Greetings, all of you. Tonight's special is a Great Pumpkin Charlie Brown. Now, this time, I usually always give you the info of how I was created and all that, but let's do that after the review. With the fall and swing, Pepita's game prepared for Halloween. In the open cold, Linus and Lucy go out to the local pumpkin to find a pumpkin. Lucy selected the largest they can find, but poor Linus has to get back to the house. He became distressed when it turns out that Lucy's gone to gut it out to be a pumpkin on land, a Jacqueline. After the open credits, Snoopy helps Charlie Brown Fennis stay pile of leaves when Linus jumped into the heap with a large, like a little large lollipop. Then Lucy enters Charlie to kick a football, which usually was George. Ah! Boom! He fell. Then Charlie Brown gets invited to a Halloween party, hosted by Violet. Neither Charlie Brown nor Lucy can believe that he invited. As she breaks out into the happy end, she assumes it was a mistake. But Linus writes a yearly letter to Great Pumpkin, desperate Charlie Brown disbelieves that Snoopy laughed and Patty's assertion that Great Pumpkin is fake. Even his own sister Lucy, who threatened to pound him, she's watching TV, reading TV guide and her pictures of it. Only Sally, Charlie Brown's younger sister, smitten with Linus supporting him, until Charlie Brown taking her away. Linus goes out to the mail letter who cannot be reached in the mailbox. Lucy refuses to help him, so he lashes the mail handler with a security blanket, opens the box to welfare and the letter. On Halloween night, the game includes Sally go trick or treating. Each with their own costume. Most dresses go to the boat with the seed costume. Charlie Brown botched his costume given too many holes. Because trouble with scissors. Pig pants did not thus making it easy to identify. Lucy dressed up as a witch, saying the opposite of a real personality. On the way, they stopped at the pumpkin patch to jeer up Linus for missing the festival. Just as he did the previous year, un undetected. Linus is convinced a great pumpkin will come and send a pumpkin patch and tries to give Sally to join him. Sally acted more interest on it and the flash away than Linus agreed to skip trick or treating. But during trick or treating, the kids go to goodies except for Charlie Brown, who always gets nothing but rocks. After so going back to the pumpkin patch to tease Linus and Sally, the gang go to Violet's following party, where Lucy pushed Charlie to use as a model of drawing a poor's face. For, a char for, for the Jack O'Lantern, back of his head. Meanwhile, Snoopy, wearing a World War II flying ace, I'm to board his doghouse, imagines himself as the soft red camel fighting plane to fight with the Red Baron after a feisty but losing battle char. Snoopy makes his way across the country yard to briefly crash the Halloween party. He is entranced by a soldier playing the World War II tunes on his piano. Through a sad song to make him cry, sneaking into the apple bob and tank, he actually kissed Lucy and she picks him up an apple, disguised herself and sent her into the same circle of friends as she did in Charlie Brown Christmas. Embarrassed, Snoopy leaves. Linus and Sally are still pumpkin when Linus sees a shadowy figure raised in the moonlight. He assumes the great pumpkin is there and faints. When Sally sees it's only Snoopy, when Linus wakes up, she's furious and yells at her, making her mess all the festival, and Charlie Brown and the others came to get her. As they leave, Linus was still convinced that the pumpkin will remember his promise to put a good word if it comes. Panic if, instead of when. At four o'clock next morning, Lucy realized that Linus is not in his bed, and her brother pumpkin patch still in his clothes, huddling under his blanket, half asleep. She brings him home, takes off his shoes, and put him to bed. When daylight came, Charlie Brown Linus learned against the wall, commanded with the previous night's disappointment. Charlie attempted to console his friend by saying he has done a stupid thing in his life, too. And this influence Linus, who brings the vow that pumpkin will come next year. Charlie Brown listened with annoyed and look at his face with the credit rolls. So, yeah, there you have it. The very first of the Charlie Brown specials that were kind of creepy. But it's kind of sad that Charlie didn't, Charlie Brown didn't get to have a single rock. But here's the interesting trivia. After the special, everyone out there who was watching it felt really sad. So by the next day, everyone sends bags and mountains of candy to Charlie Brown because they were feeling sorry for him. So they gave him all their candy. True story, anyway. In any case, now, in the history of this holiday special, was the third peanut special, second holiday themed special, following Charlie Brown Christmas, to be produced by Bill 
Melon D's. It was also the first peanut special to use the titan patterns of short phrases following Charlie Brown a pattern, which remained known to all subsequent peanut specials. Any broadcast took place on October 27, 1966, on CBS, permanent of Three Sons. My Three Sons, the original sponsor was Coca Cola, the original sponsor of Charlie Brown Christmas. And Dolly Madison brand bacon snack food, which would have gone a long time to if the peanut special on CBS we aired special nineties through two thousand. ABC picked it up right to begin two thousand one, where it now airs anyway during the Halloween season. The program was nominated a nineteen sixty six Emmy Award. It has been an issue at home video several times, including the remaster deluxe and a special release. It's featured at Magic Charlie Brown, which was released in 1981. It celebrated its 40th anniversary when the book was published in 2006. A Great Pumpkin Charlie Brown, the makings of the TV classic, including the entire script, never before seen photographs, was accepted in the view of the original child actors who proved the voice of the, of the Peanut King. History program, very religious, intercepted over the lioness, since you believe the Great Pumpkin are explained in 2015, the book of Charlie Brown, Little just Yeah, go ahead and read it, guys. It's a good story. And the voices are our characters. Christopher Shea as Linus Van Pelt. Peter Robbins as Charlie Brown. Gail D. Flair as Pigpen. Sally Dreyer as Lucy Van Pelt. Gwen Manson as Schroeder and Sherman. Katie Sternberg as Sally Brown. And Auntie as Violet Frida and Lisa D. Fanny as Patty. And Bill yeah. Muncie as Snoopy. Now, as I can say to this... This is also another thing, and it was really cute. I mean, I got a rock custom stirring my many viewers, according to Charlie Shores in the book, Destroy TV, Happy Holly Charlie Brown. She yeah. says that the program first aired a bag, a box of candy came all from over the world, just for Charlie Brown. Which is another thing I had to, I had to say, bravo to the fans out there in the past. If you hear me now, or your ghosts are hearing me, bravo for doing that. That was very nice deep. As for critical reputation, the executive producer Lee Manson told the Washington Post that the sequence with, with Snoopy fall in his jaw, flying his doghouse, was once more multiple memorable scene. He also says that all the PS TV series, I believe the great pumpkin Charlie Brown, is Bill's and most masterpiece. I'll just call him Mr. Bill. And the music, I would say performed by Ben Gold and Sextus. Lions and Lucy associated with Oregon Charlie Brown in Christmas was very good. I would say it. As for the home video releases, well, at least they showed the DVDs and released them uh, in September 2, 2008. And there you have it. My review on Charlie Brown is the Great Pumpkin. So I hope you guys enjoy this lovely Halloween tale. Have pleasant dreams and ah, nightmares from the deep. <laughs> Okay, my brony watchers, remember to subscribe to my channel, and remember, there's always more with me than meets the eye, or should I say, more than meets a white rose. Night, folks. Hee <laughs> hee.